Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you the result of my color analysis session. First, I just have to mention that the lighting ain't perfect today. The sun has set. It's a Saturday, so I'm filming in the evening, not in the morning. This was when I had time. You know, it's dark in Norway. It's winter, so I just have to go with the flow. Just have to make do, I guess. And I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's fine. It's okay. Um, we'll all survive this lighting and soon it will be spring and uh, the lighting will be a bit easier to work with. I recently got the result of my color analysis and I've been really eager to share it with all of you. First I want to do share the backstory of why I chose to have a color analysis session done. I'm quite certain that most of the people who's been on the internet for the last year or two are familiar with color analysis at this point. This was something that was huge in the 80s as I have come to understand and have recently gotten a new upswing. There are uh, quite a few who does color analysis. You can even do like those filters on Instagram. There are apps for it and you can get kind of a... you can get quite, quite close I think but I'm never satisfied with an app telling me <laughs> these kinds of things. So I really wanted to get one done myself. The reason for that is that lately I've been kind of struggling with choosing colors and yarns for my projects. I've been struggling with finding clothes in my closet that I feel comfortable in. I recently realized a lot of it is because of the colors. I've used... I've been wearing a lot of black, white and navy and and kind of recently I got kind of tired of those clothes. I didn't feel comfortable in the colors anymore. I felt that black was getting harsh, I felt that white was too much and I think a lot of it has to do that my appearance overall is gotten kind of softer these last few years. I don't wear as much makeup as I used to do. My hair is much more natural than, it, than I used to do it. Like I used to have kind of extreme uh, makeup and hair when, when I was younger and then black kind of wasn't that strong I guess and I didn't feel uncomfortable in it but now I feel it's kind of overpowering and because of that I didn't really know what colors to look for. So this last year I've been knitting in my usual colors and a lot of the knitwear has just been, has just ended up in the closet and not being worn. Which is a shame because as we all know, yarn and knitting is takes up a lot of money. It takes up a lot of time. So it's not that fun when you go out, find yarn that you enjoy, colors you think you like, and then it all just ends up in a drawer somewhere. A lot of my previous favorites has also ended up in the drawer. When I wear them I'm kind of I kind of get this feeling that there is just something off without really knowing why and I started to suspect that maybe the colors are actually reacting on my skin and I don't like the result. These past few years has also been really weird let's be honest. It started off with me losing a lot of weight then I gained a lot of weight, then we had COVID and we stayed inside and our clothes changed due to that. Then I got pregnant, then I had just given birth and now I'm on the other side of all of that and I'm starting to go back to wearing my regular clothes again and now I don't feel at home in my own wardrobe. I think this is a feeling a lot of women have after giving birth and after having their bodies change a lot. You have to accommodate for breastfeeding, you have to accommodate for carrying your child, you have to have clothes that are practical, but still you want clothes that you feel uh, like yourself in and you have to kind of rediscover your own uh, taste and your now how you want to dress as a mom, I guess. <laughs> And I figured that getting a color analysis done would help me make better choices. Now, as I said, there are a lot of people who offers this um, service and I've been doing some research trying to figure out if I should do one in person here in Oslo, if I should do something online and if so, who did I want to uh, do who did I want to do my color analysis? 
And this Christmas I have been watching a lot of the content from a color analysis studio in Melbourne and I just really enjoyed their method. They are really good at explaining how it works, they are really good at showing how they get the result and they had a video where they compared a in-person analysis with the digital one and that just had me sold. I really enjoyed their method, I really enjoy how honest and open they are. I also really enjoy the fact that they say you can wear anything you feel comfortable in despite what the analysis might show. This is supposed to be a tool to help you uh, and not a cage as they keep telling their clients on uh, YouTube. They have a YouTube channel I honestly you should go watch their videos because I find them highly interesting. To do a digital color analysis you send over a few photos of yourself. Uh, they have instructions on their website on how these photos should be taken. Uh, I removed my backgrounds because I didn't have any neutral walls so I just used Photoshop to remove the backgrounds from my images and you also send over a few uh, everyday photos of yourself. I put that, all of that into a folder on my Google disk and just sent them the link and it worked fine. Uh, and I had a few questions to them about my glasses, about jewelry uh, and some other like general uh, things I uh, wanted answers to, I guess. And then I got this really long email uh, with my result and I'm just going to read uh, some of it to you and uh, uh, yes, reveal my color season. So they write. Here we are with the result of your online color analysis. Again, thank you much, very much for choosing us. It was, great to, it was great to analyze your chromatic characteristics and see how you glowed when paired with colors that match your undertone, intensity and value. In the first part of the analysis, we compared warm and cool colors. We found that warm colors gave your skin and the sclera, the white part of your eyes, an unflattering yellow tinge. On the other hand, cool colors gave your skin a uniform, smooth appearance and created more definition in your facial features. In your specific case, the difference was obvious when we compared peach and pink. Therefore, your undertone is cool. So I have a cool undertone, which I kind of figured out myself. I was quite certain that I had a cool undertone, but from there I had, I was just, <laughs> I didn't know I needed some help. Then we compared cool bright colors with cool soft colors. In this comparison, bright colors appeared overpowering and stole the scene from you. When a color is too intense, it seems that it moves forward and your face moves backwards, so other people will see the color you are wearing before they see you. This is not what we want, because you should be the protagonist. On the other hand, we saw that the soft colors are gentle and in harmony with your chromatic features and created a graceful balance frame for your face. Therefore, your level of intensity is low. Since your undertone is cool and your intensity is low, your season is summer. This palette features three main characteristics, coolness, softness and lightness. All of the colors from the summer palette work very well on you. When comparing the coolest, softest and lightest colors of the summer palette, we didn't notice any major differences, as those three characteristics are perfectly balanced in your chromatic complex. Since your colors are soft, light and cool at the same level, at the same level your palette is true summer. And uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and if you are into the color seasons, I you might kind of guess what your season is. Uh, they work from a method where you have four color seasons and within those four there are three under um, subgroups. And I uh, did think my sub subgroup was cool summer um, but I am a true summer which means that all of the colors within the uh, summer palette would work very well on me and uh, I find that kind of cool and interesting <laughs> how I'm supposedly a very balanced person in my appearance. I did send over a few reflections because they ask about what your favorite colors are, if there are some colors you find don't suit you and stuff like that. And uh, as always, I went to town when asked about uh, anything because I always over explain. And they, <laughs> they write this. 
Uh, firstly, we wanted to compliment you on your fantastic self-awareness regarding your colors, which is hilarious. We can see that you have worked with colors in your knitting as a lot of your thoughts were correct. We hope that our service can give you absolute clarity and confidence, blah, blah, blah. I think a lot of knitters are quite self-aware when it comes to color. Uh, we are used to working with a lot of colors because we have to choose them for each and every project. Uh, as for myself, I'm the kind of person that if you hold up five different whites, I will know the difference between them and I can tell you what their names probably are. Um, for some reason, I'm really good at differentiating colors, um, <laughs> which I know some people have a problem with, but I've always been very picky when it comes to colors. Like white isn't white and blue isn't blue and gray isn't gray. Um, so I'm having a hard time finding like the exact specific shade I want, which is also, I guess, why I end up not being uh, always that happy with my knitting projects because it wasn't like the exact specific shade I was hoping it would be and I'm, I just keep chasing the shades that I want. I then asked about my glasses because I was quite certain my color season would be either winter or summer and therefore I should be wearing silver frames but they say that because the frames are quite thin, I could just keep wearing them if I enjoy them. But they are tortoise shell and gold. And I really like them, but they are kind of falling apart. And I will soon be having a toddler. So I'm kind of con considering getting a second pair of glasses anyway. So I will have like one pair that's uh, on the top of the shelf that I use out of the house and then I can use these inside the house and it won't matter as much if she grabs them and throws them in the floor on the floor and they get kind of wonky uh, and then I have like my nice glasses <laughs> I've never had two pairs of glasses before so that would be an extravagance uh, then they continue uh, listing a lot of colors and color names that I should be looking for uh, and also they attached uh, my palette they attached like a pdf explaining more about the color season and they have this business card that you can save on your phone or print and to use when you are shopping for colors so it's easier to find them uh, i will try to insert or i will insert i won't try i will insert my palette here as you can see there are a lot of colors and for me who's used to wearing a lot of black and white it's kind of intimidating knowing that these colors aren't a part of my palette but as i said i've already found that these colors are getting kind of harsh on me and i'm looking for uh, al al alternative colors to wear which is and this palette just gives me a lot of options but also as they are uh, quick to explain you don't have to find the exact matches this isn't like you can only wear these colors which is why they give you their business card which i've saved on my phone uh, and i can hold this up when shopping and if and the concept is that when you hold this towards some a, any color or any piece of clothing or anything like that it should be in harmony like you have to like this can you see how it harmonizes? Like it blends really nicely, nicely. So you're looking for like that blending effect and you shouldn't see like a huge contrast from these colors to the one you're holding it up against. I will insert the business card here so you can see it more clearly than on this, my screen. They also give you options for makeup and blush and eyes and lips and all of those things. and. To me, this is a really helpful tool and lately I've been kind of gravitating towards colors like this anyways. Uh, in the summer palette there is a lot of muted uh, colors with grey undertones, which I just love. And as you can see, this uh, sweater number 14 that I knit during my pregnancy is doing really well and I think that this grey might actually be even a bit too dark on me now that I have this information and I've been talking to my husband about colors for so <laughs> so much these past few days after getting my result I think he's so so tired of me talking about colors and as a lot of other people I guess he 
doesn't really understand the whole like harmonizing things. So I've been trying to explain to him that this isn't like the only colors. They are a starting point for discovering uh, my new colors, which I would like to call them. So how will this affect my knitting? Firstly, I think this will really help me understand what colors I will end up liking because I'm is I'm quite prone to seeing a color on Instagram or in the yarn store and think, oh my god, that's a gorgeous color, like a red or a brown or anything like that. I buy a sweater quantity, I make a sweater, put it on and realize, but I don't like this color on me. And then it ends up in the drawer. So now I've been cleaning out that drawer, taking those sweaters I don't wear and I've been selling them off on Thais, which is a new Norwegian secondhand uh, app for selling secondhand pieces of clothing and getting some money back into my account um, and started planning my knitting for 2024 kind of differently. After getting the result I did a yarn store tour and held up the business card towards some colors I've been kind of eyeing and thinking that they might be good options for me and making like a mental list of colors I want to try knit in. Maybe I'll buy small quantities and make like scarves or hats to begin with before doing like the big projects. And uh, at the moment I'm discovering my new blacks and whites because I can do like navies, greys, um, pearl grey, stuff like that uh, as, uh, as alternatives to black and white. I am truly truly so excited to have this as a tool going forward and I can't wait to see what kinds of projects I will end up with and I can't wait to see how my wardrobe will look in a year or even two. Um, I'm not going to like get rid of all of my black clothes. I still have like my black and white Mar Marseille sweater that I love. Um, my Louvre sweater which is black that I love wearing so I won't be getting rid of those pieces that I love wearing that's not technically in my palette but I will be getting rid of those that I don't wear anymore um, regardless of the colors like I don't want to be keeping and storing loads of stuff that I can't really fit into my wardrobe anyways uh, we don't have like the biggest apartment in the world we have uh, a wardrobe space. <laughs> we have a wardrobe space each of 75 centimeters, so it's not that big at all. Now, to end this video, I would like to talk a bit about uh, if I think everyone should get a color analysis done. Because I don't think you have to, even though it's really popular. Like, get one if you're interested and you, it excites you. Uh, if you are confused, like I've, I have been, if you just want to discover more uh, colors that would suit you, uh, get one. It's really fun. It does cost a bit of money, but uh, like uh, it, the digital one without like a video call costs about the same as a sweater's quantity of yarn. So you can make that decision for yourself if you find that a worthy investment. For me, I found this really, really helpful. Um, but if you like, you love the colors you choose, you love wearing what you wear, you don't need it. But if you are intrigued, if you want to know what your color season is, then go for it. Why shouldn't we know? Um, yeah, I just... I really enjoyed the experience and I'm going to be talking about colors a lot this year, I'm quite certain. Uh, and again, go watch uh, Julia and Alessandra's videos because they are highly entertaining, they are really nice people. Um, and yeah, I've been enjoying watching their content and they are really good content creators as well as color analysts. So that is the result. I'm a true summer. <laughs> do you know your color season? If you do, please share below or what you think your color season is. Um, I think it's really interesting and I have this new look on colors um, and I want to try more of them and I don't want to live in, limit myself to just three colors going forward. I want more. I want more colors in my closet. I want happy colors, I want 
um, I want pieces of clothing that excite me when I put them on uh, instead of pieces of clothing where I'm like oh, this boring old black shirt again <laughs> So thank you for sticking around. Please share your color season with me. I would love to know. I would love to discuss it. And uh, I hope you are all having a wonderful evening, wonderful morning, wherever you are. I hope you got some knitting done. Do share what you're knitting on as well. And the color. Share what color you're knitting in on with <laughs> at the moment. And I'll see you later. Bye.